Thank you. Used to be my old stomping grounds out here. One, two, three. Good evening, I am John 12 Hawks, and I'd like to welcome you to the New York event and launch of the Golden City, the third book in the Fourth Realm Trilogy. I am John 12 Hawks. Well, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what that means. And of course it means something fun, it means that there are some books that we really enjoy with characters we care about who have done exciting things and this is a night where we're celebrating the release of the third and last book the golden city mostly it's about being awake and aware and not living in fear so when you say i am john 12 hawks you're part of a community you're part of something and i hope that when you say it you're not the only one hi everybody I also am John 12 Hawks this evening, and uh, it's good to see everybody here. Um, this, is, this is really an exciting um, series of books, and with the third book being published, um, we're, uh, we really celebrate with John. He's, he's done something amazing uh, here. And I want to read something from the first book, The Traveler. It's been read by hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Um, which is really gratifying for us. The, the part that I'm going to read is, um, is actually the part where uh, Gabriel, uh, one of the main characters, one of the brothers, is first introduced, who never quite fit into the world and didn't know at the time that he was a traveler and had some amazing abilities to uh, experience the world in a different way than, than we all can. But um, what Gabriel used to do before he realized this is he would go to the airport and he would um, pay exorbitant sums of money to, to make these high altitude jumps out of airplanes because it was the only way that he could experience the world um, in such a way that he felt free and unshackled and it made sense to him. Gabriel had taken the seat closest to the pilot so that he would be the last jumper. He moved slowly and pretended to be adjusting a parachute strap so that he would be completely alone during his descent. When he reached the door, he wasted a few more seconds by giving Nick a thumbs up, and then he was out of the plane and falling. Gabriel shifted his weight and flipped over onto his back so that he saw nothing but the space above him. The sky was dark blue, darker than anything you could see when standing on the ground. A midnight blue with a distant point of light. Venus, goddess of love. An exposed area on his cheek began to sting, but he ignored the pain and concentrated on the sky itself, the absolute purity of the world that surrounded him. On Earth, two minutes was a commercial break on a television show, a half-mile crawl on a crowded freeway, a fragment of a popular love song. But falling through the air, each second expanded like a tiny sponge tossed into water. Gabriel passed through a layer of warm air and then returned to the coldness. He was filled with thoughts, but not thinking. All the doubts and compromises of his life on Earth had melted away. His wrist altimeter began to beep loudly. Once again, he shifted his weight and flipped over. He stared down at the dull brown Southern California landscape and a line of distant hills. As he came closer to the Earth, he could see cars and tract houses and the yellowish haze of air pollution hanging over the freeway. Gabriel wanted to fall forever. But a quiet voice inside his brain commanded him to pull the handle. He glanced up at the sky, trying to remember exactly how it looked, and then the parachute canopy blossomed over his head. I always loved that because it was the very beginning and uh, it was the moment that you could tell this was a guy who was a traveler and had these abilities but clearly didn't know how to access it yet and went to uh, extraordinary lengths to escape the oppression that he felt in the world. Thanks. Hello, I am John Twelve Hawks. Maya had once seen her life as a story with a beginning, middle, and end. That chronological way of thinking had vanished during her time on the island. Although she hid in the rubble and fought in the streets, none of these events were connected to her past. 
uh, breakfast meeting with somebody and I said, you know, I'm really upset about the number of cameras I'm seeing in the intersections in my hometown. <clears throat> and this guy laughed at me and he said, you should really read The Traveler. So he flew home and I called him a couple of weeks later. I said, you know, I wish you hadn't told me about that. I can't put it down. So if, if you haven't read The Traveler, or The Dark River, which I'm going to read from tonight. Um, you probably haven't had a chance to read The Golden City yet. You do need to pick it up because what you're going to find, <clears throat> like I have discovered, is that sometimes you are a drone, sometimes you're a citizen, sometimes you might feel like, well, maybe you're a harlequin. You're looking after somebody. I'm John Twelve Hawks and stuff. Um, these books have surveillance cameras, killer weasels, sexy ninjas, guys who travel from dimension to dimension. And it may sound kind of frivolous and sort of crazy when you think about it, but the larger theme of these books is about surveillance. So I'm reading the part of Michael Corrigan, who is Gabriel Corrigan's evil brother. They're like evil twins. Okay, this is the really fun part of the night where we give away a book. Is there anybody who hasn't gotten a ticket already? If you haven't gotten a ticket already, raise your hand. That's too bad you didn't get a ticket. But I'm, yeah, I'm here for about 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have another chance. Come on up. Get on camera. Woohoo! You're the lucky winner. Number one. Is this a great country or what? Is this a great country or what? You show up in a bar, you get a free book. It's an important book, too. Some yeah, let me see. <laughs> Some people are... Come on, a big hand for number one, two, three. Woo! Say hello to the internet. I, Why did you want this book so badly? Please speak to the universe. Because, because I know we're, we're all being watched and observed every minute of the day, so uh, I want to see what the fantasy world says about it. All right, good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Hello, Internet. Come on, this is for the whole world to celebrate. All right. And who are you? Uh, You're the I, leader. I am John Twelve Hawks. Oh, of course, that's the right answer. Woo okay, now I believe we're going to have some incredibly good music. You know, he'd given out the, 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 the raffle tickets, and my friend Leslie came in, and she, she asked me, can I buy a book? And I said, well, here, take my raffle ticket. And she won right off, and I'm, I'm pleased about that. But I think, they, I think, I think they're, they're, I think they're paying us with a book, a copy of the book here. Okay. Oh, 